Time to take your wealth to the next level. Welcome to Learn Wealthy, your go-to channel for real estate insights, market charts, and golden opportunity. Let's build wealth together. This video is not a financial advice. We are not attorneys, CPAs, or financial advisors. This video is made for entertainment purposes only, so do not take them as financial advice. We do not know your personal specific financial situation. We suggest you seek an actual financial advisor for real financial advice. How's it going, everyone? I hope everyone's doing just fine. It's me again, your host, James Santiago. Today's episode is going to be juicy. Today I want to talk about the Buffett Indicator and what it does. Watch till the end because we're going to use the Buffett Indicator along with other indicators to see if the market is overvalued and is headed for a correction. Or maybe it can sustain the upward trend that we've been seeing. Welcome to our channel Learn Wealthy. In today's video, we're going to do a deep dive into the Buffett Indicator, a metric that Warren Buffett himself has called the best single measure of where valuations stand at any given moment. But what exactly is it and how can it help you understand the market? Let's break it down. So before we get into it, let's check out the man himself, who this metric is named after, Warren Buffett. So some say Warren Buffett is the greatest investor of all time, huh? Not sure about that. There's definitely a lot of them cuter and sexier than Warren Buffett. Like Charlie Munger, for example. All right, let's get into the Buffett Indicator. What is the Buffett Indicator? The Buffett Indicator is essentially a ratio that compares the total value of the stock market to the country's GDP, gross domestic product. Here's how it works. You got the market cap. This is the total value of all publicly traded companies in the stock market. It is calculated by multiplying the stock price by the number of shares outstanding for each company. Then you got the gross domestic product or the GDP, which is the total value of all goods and services produced by a country in a given period, usually a year. The Buffett indicator takes the total market cap and divides it by the GDP, giving us a ratio. What does this ratio mean? If the ratio is greater than 100% when the market cap exceeds the GDP, it suggests that the stock market might be overvalued. Investors might be paying more for stocks than what the economy is actually producing. If the ratio is less than 100%, if the market cap is less than the GDP, it could indicate that the stock market is undervalued, meaning the stocks might be relatively cheap compared to the overall economy. Historically, a Buffett indicator ratio of around 70 to 80% has been considered fair value. However, this can vary depending on the economic environment and market conditions. Why is this important? The Buffett indicator is important because it provides a big picture of the market's valuation. While it's not perfect and shouldn't be the only tool you use to make investment decisions, it can be a helpful guide to understanding whether the market is in a bubble or if there might be buying opportunities. Some limitations of the Buffett indicator are globalization and interest rates. Globalization with many companies generating significant revenue outside their home country, comparing just the U.S. stock market to the U.S. GDP might not give a complete picture. And interest rates. The indicator doesn't consider interest rates, which can also affect stock market valuations. So to sum it up, the Buffett indicator is a useful tool for gauging the overall valuation of the stock market. But like any financial metric, it's best used in conjunction with other analysis. Keep in mind the current economic context. And remember that no single indicator can predict the market with certainty. That's why we use all other things we talk about in this Learn Wealthy channel. We talk about the yield curve, SOMS rule. We look at the unemployment, the inflation compared to people's income. And then you position your portfolio accordingly, knowing that you're only playing with probabilities and there are no certainties. Why do 90% of our viewers keep coming back? Because they don't want to miss a thing. If you're loving what you're learning, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our awesome community. We drop new exciting content regularly that's designed to keep you ahead of the curve. And hey, we really want to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think or what you'd like to see next. So we're actually going to look at charts to see if the Buffett indicator is 
going to show us if the stock market is overvalued or not. We're here at this website called Long Term Trends. And all right, this is an example of the uh, Buffett indicator chart. So as we know, Buffett indicator is the market cap to GDP ratio. So in this example, in this chart, we're using the Wilshire 5000 as the market cap. Um, so this 100% here, this line is 100%. When it's uh, on top of that, that means, according to the Buffett indicator, stock market is overvalued is because it's bigger than the GDP, right? So right now, we are here at 184%. And yep, the stock market is almost double the value of the U.S. economy, according to this. So it matches, it really matches our base case. Let's get back to the Federal Reserve's uh, chart of the 10 and 2-year treasury. Our base case, according to the 10-year and 2-year treasury, the 10-year and 2-year treasury is telling us that we're headed for a recession when this yield curve uninverts, this inversion uninverts, because that is what's been happening to the past previous recessions. The gray bars are the recessions. If you've been watching this channel, please subscribe if you don't. You'll learn a lot about this. Um, let's go back to long-term trends. So this part, we're using the Dow as the market cap measure. And over one, it's going to say the market is more than the GDP. Under one, it's going to say the market is undervalued and it's less than the GDP. So right now, we're at 1.37%. So it is still overvalued according to the Dow to GDP ratio. And we can also use the S&P 500 as a market cap to GDP. Um, this is the one right here. And right now, it's at uh, 184%. Uh, overvalued compared to GDP. So the S&P as a market cap is also showing that the stock market is overvalued. And that is the Buffett indicator. Uh, it, it matches with our thesis, supports our base case in this channel that we are headed for a recession. And we will, on the next videos we will show uh next few videos not, not the very next one but one of the videos in the future when the job number comes out we will see if the unemployment gets worse and when that gets worse it's the fed's probably going to drop rates to to mediate that uh recession problem that we're going to face um according to this yield curve and the buffett indicator i hope you enjoy that and picked up a lot of useful information for more real estate macro and finance please subscribe so we can all learn wealthy together write down in the comment section to let me know what you think if you have any questions or you want any topics that you want me to talk about in the future i'll see you in the next video